All right, so we're back at it on the retaining wall. You can see everything's core poor, or the holes are filled nice. Check out this amazing blob at the end. That's gonna be wonderful when somebody digs that up in the future. All right, so today we are working on getting it capped. First steps, go get this rebar bent down and out of the way, and then onto the framing. Alright, so we're putting the finishing touches on framing up this cap, putting this brace on top here that keeps the top from spreading apart whenever we get the sacre placed in there. The only other thing we have left to do framing wise is get the end caps put on and then we're off to get our supplies from the supply store. So let's hop in the C8500 and get going. We got the perforated pipe, we got the rebar we needed, we got the supplies of course. And we got the tin bags of sacri. And the bucket doesn't go as high as I thought it did. GoPro game right there. It doesn't go as high as I thought it did, so uh, I'm starting to think this is a bad idea. We're gonna find out. just in time to get rained out for the day. So we'll get these bags placed and we're gonna pick up on the next day. All right, so here's where we're at. I didn't quite get finished the other day. We jumped to another day. I did get a little bit of stone back here. There's the pipe there, obviously. Got a little stone in here. Uh, going with the waterproofing method again to form this up, but I did put a little wood to reinforce it this time. Here's how my forming looks. This is the rebar that was core port I bent down tied it all together and then I've got uh, the other pieces of rebar cut that I'm gonna lay in so we'll have three runs of number four bar in each one and I've got some pieces cut and bent that'll go 
down in here. A couple of them, you can see that one there, have already got tied into place. That's where the forming looks. So there's a um, two by four there, which will give me an inch and a half lip. And then this is three and a half inches tall. So I'll get a three and a half inch tall cap with an inch and a half lip. You can see I got some gaps there. So the only step I got left is to tape those gaps. And then we're gonna get going. It's pretty chilly today. It's in the 40s right now. It's supposed to get in the 30s tonight. I don't have any insulated blankets, but I do have a hot water spigot from when I thought I was gonna have a hot tub. I don't have a hot tub, but I do have a hot water spigot from it. So I'll have some hot water to put in the mix, which will help kick things going on the chilly day. And then uh, we'll get going. So I started off filling this cavity up against the house about halfway up first so it can stiffen up while we pour the rest of the cap. Then we'll top it off at the very end. And as we get going here, we'll just take that Sacri. I filled up about halfway first round and then you'll see I lay all the rebar in and then cover the rebar up the rest of the way, smooth it out and just work my way up each lift. So we are on the final little piece up by the house down to our last bag of sacrete. And the only thing now that could possibly screw this up are my poor math skills. Yep, oh, good thing I had an extra one in the barn. Went down the edges, tapped it all with a hammer, try to get a decent edge on it when we take the forms off. That'll be a different video. We'll take the forms off the same time we do this backfill video. So I'll get a little footage uh, running an edge and finishing the top. And that's gonna be it for this one, man. So we're just gonna run the edges on these real quick, clean up with the steel trowel, like I said. Hey, before you guys take off, I'm incredibly grateful. There is an incredible amount of new subscribers that have jumped over to the channel, and I cannot thank you guys enough for coming over. Super excited you're here. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. We got a lot of good stuff coming up, including some new fabrication and customization projects for some new homemade implements that I definitely need your guys' help on what direction to go with, literally what direction to go with on some of those implements. Also, a lot of good Dirt Perfect content coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And as always, we will catch you guys on the next one.